Also, autocap mechanical ships with over 700,000 standard parts and features, a specific item you require may not exist. For example, the standard part library shipped with autocap mechanical does not contain piping parts. To assist you in such a scenario, AutoCAD Mechanical provides the ability to build your own content and store them in custom content libraries. There are other cases where you need a variation of an existing standard part, for example a steel shape with a hole at a specific place. To assist you in such a scenario, AutoCAD Mechanical provides you the ability to copy the standard part to a custom content library and modify it as required. There are other times when you want to perform a simple change to a standard part. For example, change the material of a screw from steel to brass. To assist you in such a scenario, AutoCAD Mechanical lets you customize the standard part content library too. Content in custom content libraries can be like block libraries, single few geometries that do not update the bill of material or resize during insertion. They could also be fully fledged parts features such as those in a standard part content library. Custom content that exploit the available authoring features can bear these features prompts you to select the size from a list of valid sizes. When drag set resizes is performed, snaps to valid sizes as you drag. Select a few from a set of predefined views. Updates the bill of material upon insertion. Respects automatic property management rules and hides only appropriate objects when involved in a hidden situation. Once placed in a drawing, generates remaining views with the aim power view command. The content editor is the authoring environment used to build and modify parts and features in custom content libraries. The content editor is derived from the block editor. Hence, settings that control the block editor have an impact on the content editor as well. For example, if you change the background color of the block editor, the background color of the content editor also changes. You can use one of the following ways. By adding the current drawing to a custom content library, by adding selected geometry to a custom content library, by adding a block to the content library, by creating an item from the scratch, by copying an item from a standard part library.